What up, JDT? It is your boy Jeffrey, and welcome back to the channel, yo. I'm here to talk about self improvement. When I talk about self improvement, it's like being the best version of yourself. And for you to accomplish that, you gotta the steps that I want to talk about along the, the video, so that way you guys can have an idea. So it will be I'm gonna be talking about fitness, be talking about finance, you know, having your own money. And I'm not talking about you gotta be a well be millionaire, whatever. As long as you are responsible and living below your means and just having, you know, your credit score and all of that, you'll be okay. And last but not least is to wardrobe and hygiene. You know, those are major three points that can really boost your confidence and also help you in life to just, you know, talk to someone or talk to a girl or just feel better about yourself, you know? And here are the things, I'm gonna just break it down for you, I got you. Point number one is fitness. You know, fitness, not only it helps you look good and confident, but it also helps you internally, and, you know, health purposes too. It just boosts your confidence dramatically to the point that, have you ever been sitting down on your couch and you just like, damn man, I wanna lose this belly. I don't got a V cup. Or when you scrolling down a dating app, if you guys have one, I don't know, you know, you just be like, damn man. Um, if only I got a six pack, or if I only I got shoulders, if only I got a bicep, like fitness is a major thing for you to boost confidence. Trust me. I'm not in shape. I, well, I'm not as in shape as these other dudes. Uh, however, I'm still confident. And um, I'm not trying to tell you like, hey, you know, you don't have to be um, fit for your confidence, but it does boost your confidence. You, you can still be confident without being fit, but it just helps you the clothes you wear for you to be attractive physically even more, you know, um, sex appeal. So it just kind of helps you more on the road to the point that you can even get opportunities as in like your model. You can start a fitness coach or personal trainer and somebody will honestly hit you up and be like, hey, you know, how you get yourself like that? You think you can help me out? So that way, you know, can you be my personal trainer? And you have no idea like, wow, I never thought that would be a personal trainer. You know what? Yeah, I got you. You know, that could be a side hustle. So it kind of opens doors and, you know, new opportunities, which is a great thing. So me, myself, I'm not the best version of myself and I'm not like the greatest shape. However, I want you guys to be a part of the journey that I'm trying to accomplish, you know? I'm gonna reveal in three months how to get a V-cut. Well, not how to, but right now, I'm tr my goal is to be with a V-cut. And in three months, it's gonna, I'm gonna review you guys. Like, you guys just need consistency, dedication, motivation, you know, anything to keep you going. So that way you can have that. And you, trust me, in the long run, you guys are definitely, definitely, gonna be saying to yourself like wow man i'm glad i'm glad i was able to keep that motivation because look at me now i look a lot better and it's internally even externally like it just helps you like it's not a bad thing for you to go to the gym and for you to get fit you know it's, it's a win-win you know so i want you to join me for my journey because I'm not like one of these other guys that they talk to you the same thing I'm talking to you, but they're very fit. But right now I'm in the same level as you, you know, to the viewers that has a better body than me or not. However, we're in the same boat that I'm here to accomplish that goal. And hopefully you guys can join that with me. And then we can be confident, even boost our even confidence a lot better. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I'm still confident for my body. A lot of work could be done and it could boost my confidence even more. So, you know, it'll be better. So, that's just, you could definitely guys gotta do that. Two, a little host, finance. When I talk about finance, I'm not talking about you gotta be wealthy. You gotta drive the best car. You gotta drive a luxury car. You gotta be rich. No. No matter where you at, if you have a salary, an hourly wage job doesn't matter if you know how to manage your money and you have emergency money or if you know how to move your money around you have goals or you know you have a business mindset if you have your credit that you're you know that's top notch I mean, or it could be decent as long as you're stable you're good you know uh you really good because i'm honestly thinking there's a lot of people that tries to buy things or living a lifestyle that they can't 
do because they just want to show other people that I got this, I got that. But truly, they don't have that. But as long as you keep your finance in check, you'll be fine. Oh, I got $300, so I got $3,000. Like, if you grinding and if you got your money in place, you'll be good, you know? Like, you don't got to worry about the next dude. Oh, my God, like $10,000, $15,000. Don't get me wrong. It feels good, and you want, but as long as you want to accomplish to that level and be like, yo, one day I'm going to do that. But once you have your finance in check and you're responsible, that's a key word, responsible. And you'll be all right, you know, like there's a lot of things that you can do. Like if you can go out. OK, cool. You know, I could do that. You know, I could buy a view. I'm OK. Um, I could buy an outfit. I could treat myself. That's good. But ask yourself, how do you feel when somebody like, just asks you like, hey, you want to go out? And you're like, uh, I don't got money right now. Like, you know, because you're kind of like either gambling or you're just losing your money or you're not even working at all. Or another thing. But if you're in a date. Or you're buying something and you just look at your bank account and be like, let me check my bank account. Like, it kind of shows you there that it's just like, damn, you know, hold up. It's just, be responsible for your money and you'll be okay, okay? I'm not talking about well being rich, no, that's a goal you wanna reach. Be smart, it's a stepping stone, you know, step by step. Don't go from level one to 10. You know, you're lucky, you know, okay. We're not talking about luck right here, we're just talking about, just realistic. Step one, step two, three, four, and five. And you move yourself up there. You know, invest your money into smart things. You know, like if you know you can't buy this, don't do it. So that's step number two, which is finance your money. Once you get your money, you'll be fine. Step three is wardrobe hygiene. You should have your own fashion. You know, like if you like baggy clothes, go right ahead. You know, if you like really, really tight clothes, well, not too tight though. You want to be able to have your body breathe a little. Like you see, like this right here. Like it's okay. You know, you don't want to have an outfit that's all deep tight. You know, so fashion. Have your style. Like me personally, I like clothing that's fitted for me. You know, I don't like baggy clothes. That's just not me. You know, especially let's say if you want to accomplish your fitness. That's what I was talking about earlier about step one. If you already accomplished your body goal, then having a fit outfit will enhance your attractiveness. It's just like, wow, you look good, you know? Not too, too tight that you can't breathe. you like, damn, you know, don't do that. But something that's, that fits your, you know, persona, fits your character, you know? If you like baggy clothes, go right ahead, you like that. But have a style. I told him about designers. Oh, here's this latest designer. Um, Gucci. No, no. You can literally dress really nice if you get yourself a, an outfit from Gap. H&M or Navy. Zara, well, Zara was really nice. You know, that's what I like to wear. Zara, Marni, H&M. And I like those brands. Reason why is because they're fitted to your body. And I like that. But I'm not talking about designers. You know, high-end designers. Don't do that. A lot of people like to think that just because you have designer you're it no because most people don't know how to match like they wear a green shirt with a purple jeans and just call it a night and be like yeah, i'm good because they're both louis vuitton no it's not that color combinations you know it'll be good for your skin tone which colors to pop your skin tone out like if you're dark skin you know olive green gray black burgundy you know white looks nice you know if you're light skin then you know maybe yellow turquoise also black you just have to go back and forth and that'll be great you guys have it right there all right you talked about the three steps to just improve your better self okay so fitness wardrobe and money okay if you can master those three things then you'll be okay when i talk about fitness you don't have to buy the most expensive member so be, as long as you're active three to four days a week you know you can do it at home you can run and go to a park you'll be fine okay when it comes to money you don't gotta be wealthy you don't gotta be uh, rich to do no as long as you're managing your own money and you're responsible and three when it comes to clothing i'm not talking about designers over fendi product no you can really go in other designers and you'll be okay so those are three things that will help you empower yourself. Also, be the best version of yourself. But like I said, the key is 
consistency. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe. Make sure you comment down below. If you guys want me to do other content, you just let me know. And please show this to other people so that way you can help them empower themselves as well, you know? So stay tuned to the next video and hopefully you guys could join my journey.